Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about flashlights, specifically the Okluma DC-1. I brought out some of my other lights here to kind of compare it to. As I do a follow-up, I'm going to link the original video up above in a tag if you want to see more specs. Um, the packaging, my f initial thoughts, anything like that on this light, check back here in the uh, the tag up top. Um, first things first, let's talk about the knife I have in my pocket today. The knife I have in my pocket today is the Great Eastern Cutlery 38 Grindling Whittler. This is a Whittler pattern and it is specifically a split back whittler which i think you can see there it's wider on this end than it is on this end if you want to hear more about that go check out one of my traditional knife videos this is one of my favorite patterns um hands down so that's enough talk about that you guys came to this video to see about the light um a couple of things i want to talk about first because i know i'll get questions or comments down below um, this here is a tactician. It is not an EDC light. It's not designed to be an EDC light. It's not marketed as an EDC light. It is a tactical light. This light here is an EDC light. This light is the MicroStream. Um, this is a MicroStream AAA light. No, it's not an American made flashlight. I've had this light for years. I actually picked this knife up, or this uh, light up in Georgia when I went and took an armorer's class at Glock. And this is my uh, Prometheus Beta QR V2, which is also a AAA light. Um, I use this light for more dressy carry. I use this light on my sharpening bench. This is a, a light, a friend loan to me that I've been trying out that I'm going to tell you guys more about today. And this is the light that I've been carrying for maybe about the past six to eight months um, nonstop until I got this light here. So you can see that the Okluma DC-1 is roughly the same length um, as a micro stream here, but you can see that the diameter is greater. Um, the one thing about this light it has a uh, clicky switch that also can operate as a momentary switch. So you can see here that there is, and I hope this doesn't um, blow out the image here, but you can see there's a, there's a low light, there's a medium light, and then there's high. On this light here, like I said, this is designed to be a tactical light. This light is just high. As Soon as you hit it, it's, it's on high. And no matter how hard you press it, it is not a mo it's a momentary light it's not a clicky light whereas this light here i showed you guys the momentary function you can see it, it has a memory so it's on high which was the last setting i used i can click it and this will stay put <clears throat> before i get any comments in the any um comments down below yes this light here you can twist the head and lock the light on you can twist the tail cap lock the light on this light absolutely can serve as a light that stays on remains on um but we're like i said we're not talking directly about that light but i know that'll be something that somebody will comment down below um the one thing that i did notice um off the bat and again i hope this doesn't blow out my picture is this light is very um cold it's very blue and this light which you can see is much warmer so you can see those two lights side by side this is much cooler, the tactician. This is much warmer. That was the first thing that kind of threw me off. Um, I really thought I preferred this cooler, more blue light over this warm light. Actually, I really found that this warmer light worked better for me. Um, nine times out of 10, if I'm gonna pull out a flashlight to use it for any type of um, EDC type purpose, it's because I've dropped something. Uh, one of the things you guys I think know about is I've recently got back into building computers and keyboards and stuff like that and there are lots of little parts. Well I build them at the same table I do these um, videos at and sometimes I'll drop a screw on the floor or something like that. I found that this warmer light <clears throat> for whatever reason and maybe it's just in my mind and this has been over a few month period of time um not just over a, a week or a couple of days i found that this light illuminated what i was looking for better um and it made it easier to find whatever it was i was looking for now you know i i, I don't know um this light has much more spill which again i think you can see here this light 
is much more and we're not I'm not far enough away to show you fully, um, but I hope you can kind of see just from holding these the same distance from the table, you can see that this one spills much, much more. This one has a, a tighter beam. So I don't know if that's because of the tighter beam. I don't know if this one, you know, kind of blows everything out for lack of a better term, but I found that this one really kind of illuminated things better. And you can almost kind of see on the table here, the wood grain is much more visible, whereas here, even if you don't look at this hot spot that's in the middle right here, which again, this one comparatively, there isn't a uh, single hot spot. It's pretty even. I don't know if it's this hot spot that blows things out or if you can even see in the cool light, you can't see the grain in the wood here as well. I just found that this worked a lot better when I was looking for different things. Uh, the other thing that works uh, uh, very well if you're going to use this light as an EDC light is you can turn it on and the flat base, you can sit it upright and it'll operate almost as a lantern. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick it up, but they're also, um, it, it glows after you have the light on, um, for a while it charges this uh, material here and the material escapes me. You'll have to excuse me. Um, but that, that does provide a little bit of light after the fact, if you don't want a bright light, which kind of brings me to, to something. I know this light is designed as a tactical light, but this light, the mode that it operates in is mo is much more of what I want in a light. There aren't too many times, I really can't think of any time that I have wanted um, a, a low mode in a light. Usually if I want to find something, I just want to hit the light. I want it to come on bright. I want to be able to see whatever. I don't want to cycle through a bunch of modes. I just want the light on. This comes on in high. High is 800 lumens, um, so it's pretty doggone bright, but that's, that's more of what I want in a light. This light here, it, it has the three mode, well, the four modes. It has moonlight, which I just showed you. It has low, whoop. Oh, it has low, it has medium, and then there's high. So if I want to get the high, I've got to hit this thing a few times before I can lock it in and press that button. Um, now, is that a huge problem if you're just EDCing a light? Absolutely not. It works just fine. For me, I would like to see maybe even the uh, the pattern reversed, which I don't think you can program this. I did look into it, do a little bit of research before I turn before I um, started filming this, and I did not see where you could uh, program this light. Maybe if you reach out to James, who's the uh, guy um, behind Okluma Lights, maybe he he can modify a version for you, or maybe there's a, a, a even more custom version of these already. Uh, high-end custom like lights but I would prefer if this light came on in high even if it had the other two or three settings depending on how you want to count them uh, the other thing is for me I have extra extra large hands my hand is four inches from side to side from one side of my palm to the other side of my palm I find that this light if I'm trying to actuate it as you can see I really have to kind of get in here with my thumb I find this light to be a little bit small. I don't mind the um, diameter of the light. Now I do wear um, triple alt design um, intercepts, the, the denim or the canvas one. So I carry this light or this light, whatever light I'm carrying in that yoke pocket, <clears throat> which is a pocket above the normal back pocket. So it's in a pocket of its own, it's out of the way. Um, so I don't really have to worry about size, but it's a little bit short for me. And also the way I carry that light allows me to carry something as long as this, which you can see here, this is much better for my hand and it, fit, it still fits in that pocket. So something that I have seriously considered here recently is possibly trying to pick up a used DC2 um, at a good price because I'll get the price. This is not a cheap light. I believe this titanium version of the DC1 with the uh, blue screws was $400 brand new um, from James at Okluma. Um, so it's not a cheap light, but it is an extremely well-made, handcrafted piece of, of, of craftsmanship. Um, just, I, I'm amazed at the craftsmanship in this light. 
it hasn't hiccuped, it feels solid, it feels sturdy. This is a light that could go on and on and on. And then even if it does break for some reason, if you look into his warranty information, you contact James, he'll send you a loaner light if you need the loaner light, he'll take your light back, he'll fix it for life, the warranty's transferable, um, no questions asked, he, you just send it back and he'll fix it for you. That's something that, yes, Surefire does have a um, good warranty, but even this $120, $130 light can't offer that type of warranty. Um, so <clears throat> it's not a cheap light, but this is a light that I, I would feel very comfortable saying you could hand down to your child and your child could probably hand down to their child. And if anything happened in the meantime, obviously the uh, Okluma brand withstanding, you, it, you all, you'll you always have some type of service. Now, the one thing to say with that is this does not use a standard size battery. It, does, it doesn't use an 18650, I think it's an 18640. Again, if you check out the first video I did, I cover what size battery it uses and all of that. So not only is it not a, a standard, um, a non-standard battery like an 18650 that's fairly common in, in several different rechargeable devices. It's even less common because it's a shorter version of the 18650. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is an 18640. Um, so that, that may be an issue for you, but it is a rechargeable battery. It does recharge fairly quickly. It has lasted a pretty long time for me, even using the um, light on high, which has been how I've used it. So I don't have any type of complaints. The clip is very uh, strong. It retains the light very well. The knurling here, the detail in that knurling, it works. It's not too rough. It's not too smooth. Um, this flat base, like I said, if you want to use this as a lantern, it works extremely well. The uh, light, the light source is is very nice. I like I said I did not think I was gonna like this warmer light, but this warmer light does work better for me. Overall, I've been very impressed with the light, um, and honestly, I, I'm a little bit disappointed that I let the looks of this light pass me by because I've seen this light hundreds of times before my buddy um, reached out to me and said, "Hey man, I, I'm gonna buy a light. Would you um, proxy it for me and check it out?" I've passed this light over a hundred times at least. I'm very impressed and like I said, I'm definitely um, looking into once you know finances allow a uh, used DC2 that I could pick up at a good price because I think that might even be a light that could replace this. So overall, great light, like it a lot. My only down, the only downsides that I would say would be like I said, the price. It's a little bit short for my big hand, and I would like the uh, the mode to start off in high instead of in low, but again, that's common for EDC lights. I'm pretty sure I'm in the minority here. I know a lot of people like to use a lower or medium, or they, they're concerned about battery life, so the lower settings come in handy for them. Me, I'm an all-out kind of guy. I just want to hit the light, have it on high, find what I need to find, and cut it off. So. Love the light, enjoyed uh, checking it out. If you guys have any questions, please post it down below. I uh, hope I enjoyed you guys. Um, I hope you have a, a great weekend and I hope to catch you in the next video. Remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife.